Much better. Very respectable call time. Got enough time to go to the post office. Yesterday. This okay, one, that'll do. This one won't be here yet. Because... So the one I was going to pick up wasn't there, but there was a new one which I didn't even have a thing for. So I guess that's a win. So someone asked me about boom poles, so I'm going to give some basic kind of tips on uh, using a boom pole. Um, usually they will come uh, completely locked, like so. But what I like to do is, no matter how many sections you have, these are screw tip, screw lock even, um, no matter how many sections you have, I like to make little gaps in between each, and this just makes it easier to extend, because then I can just grab in between the section below that I want to twist and unlock, and then it's obviously a lot easier to uh, extend out. Very important to extend out from the furthest kind of screw, because um, obviously then the more sections you have, for instance, the further away everything's going to get. So whether you're a boom op or a one-man band, you obviously want the, to be able to lengthen or shorten from the closest point possible to save you putting it down, all that kind of extra stuff. Um, make sure when you're obviously... I'll, I'll try and do a separate video about framing, because I guess you've got to get used to where you should be placing the boom pole, watching out for shadows, that kind of thing. Um, and you want to make sure that obviously you're keeping kind of perpendicular, I think that's the right word, um, to the frame line, because um, any of this kind of action, you're obviously going to get the boom in, and they're going to go, uh, yeah, move it up, move it up, move it up, and actually what you've done is you've moved the microphone further away, as opposed to just simply tilting, having the same microphone placement that isn't in shot, and you've got the boom out of shot. So something to watch out for there. Um, otherwise, general maintenance, I guess what you want to be able to do is um, just extend it, kind of keep, never over tighten, I guess, is another good maintenance tip. If you're kind of spinning more than a quarter of a turn, you're going the wrong way, especially if you do a full revolution. Um, same if you're tightening. If you're tightening, you want to make sure that it's obviously tight, so if you put a bit of pressure on it, it's not going to go anywhere, but you don't want to overly tighten it so it's really hard to undo. Um, so that's obviously just important because you've got to get the right balance there, otherwise it might collapse on you. Um, cleaning, you want to use kind of a, a lot of people in the US use like Windex. There's, um, it's basically like window cleaning fluid. Um, just be careful when you're wiping, especially carbon fiber, um, that it doesn't start to fray. It's good to obviously keep it dry, wouldn't keep it wet too long. Um, and so even out in the rain, you want to make sure that after you're extending it all the way out, you're keeping the joints very loose. Maybe you want to very lightly lock it just in case. Um, and then you can just clean away, make sure it's nice and dry. And then you should get some nice smooth action there. So that's kind of my tips on a uh, boom polling. Um, if you have any more questions, obviously ask away and I'll uh, see you in the next episode. Um, if you want to compare boom poles, by the way, you can download my app and compare over 125 different boom poles uh, by weight, how many segments there are, uh, length, minimum length. I mean, I've gone all out for you guys. So, and the app is free on iOS, Android, Windows, phones, you know, the whole shebang. So, you've got no excuse, really. So, that's kind of my tips. Yes, again, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.